If you're charged with a DUI and you have a situation with the DMV where your license is suspended and you have to get an interlock device installed, generally you have to keep that installed the entire time. So during the suspension, they suspend you for nine months, but then they say if you want to drive again during that nine month period, you have to install an interlock and the interlock has to be in your car for two years. I get a lot of questions from people saying, well, how can I get out of it early? A lot of the times you can't, but there is one really nice way that you can get off of an interlock much, much sooner, but you have to kind of have a little bit of luck on your side. So here are the way, the, the only way to get off your interlock early. Number one, this has to be the first DUI charge that you've ever had. It can't be something where you had a DUI a couple of years ago, beat it, and now you're on a second, but it's, it's technically your first. You can never have had a DUI charge before ever. This has to be your first one. And then you also have to have a BAC where the BAC, for, so you can't be a refusal, the BAC then has to be below a 0.15. And the reason for that is a 0.15 is what the DMV labels as a persistent drunk driver. So they say that if you're above a 0.15, you don't get any special allowances, but below a 0.15, so basically you're looking at anywhere between a 0.08 to a 0.149. If you're in that sweet spot, then you actually can petition to get off of your interlock early. The shortest time I've seen anybody do it is 120 days. So I have actually worked with the company that we tend to use is Intoxilock. I've worked with Intoxilock before where I have clients, first time DUI offenses, they're below the 0.15 and Intoxilock tells them as long as you are on this, this Intoxilizer program, so you've got your interlock installed in your car, as long as you do it successfully without any issues for 120 days, then you can petition to get off of it early. So if you're one of the lucky few who has a first time DUI, you actually gave a BAC, you didn't refuse, and your BAC is below a 0.15, let us know. We can guide you through that process of how you petition the DMV to actually remove the interlock earlier than everybody else who has to be stuck driving around for two years with that sucker in their car.